All right, welcome to the module three. Um, I am on honors review packet solutions here. I'm going over part um, page five and page six. Okay, this is part eight through part what ten. All right, uh, part eight. Okay, select a relationship that is not a function. Okay, so we're looking for not a function. Okay, so okay, let's see. Here's a graph. We do the vertical line test process through multiple points. This one is not a function. All right, so we would select this one. That's not a function. What about this one? You plug in a one, you get a two, perfect. You get a, you plug in a three, you get a four, perfect. You select a five, you get a four, perfect. You get a draw, you pick a negative three, you get a three. Perfect, this is a, actually a function, okay? So would we select this one? No, this is a function. What about this? All right, just use the vending machine rule. You plug in a negative two, what does the vending machine give you? A one, that works. You plug in a two, the vending machine gets you a one. Does that work? Perfectly fine. You plug in a zero, you get an eight. Perfectly fine, okay? Remember, think about this. If this doesn't make sense to you, like, change it to color, um, right? This is chips on the, oh, sorry. This is, um. so think about this. If you want in terms of the vending machine um, you could say this would be like you press a1 okay this is a2 okay and this could be a3 okay this can be chips this can be um, candy and this can be um, a, a um, chips candy or Fruit, uh, fruit snack, fruit snack. Okay, like a fruit roll up. S How do you spell snack? Uh, s s yeah, snack, fruit snacks. Okay, whatever. You press A one, you get chips. Perfectly fine. You press A two, you also get chips. Is that fine? Yes. The vending machine still knows what to give you, so this would be a function. Okay, this is still a function. Next. We see this, uh, we should just do vertical line tests. That's okay. Oops, sorry, that's okay. That's okay. I'm trying to do this as straight as possible. That's okay, that's okay. So this is also a function, okay? So the only one that is not a function is this one. Part nine, the following table of values represent a two continuous function, f of x and g of x. Use the table to, uh, for the following question. Okay, uh, what is the value of f of 2? This means uh, use f of x. So here we're only using the f of x column, and we say the x is equal to 2. So here we go to the f of x, okay, and we go down. So we go down the f of x, and we go x to 2. So this is x equals to 2. So the answer would be this point. So this would be equal to 2. Good. Next, here we are looking for the g of x. Okay, so we're going down this row and we are looking for when x equals to 2. So, 2 is right there. Cross. Oh, looks like it's at 4. Yep, 4 is right there. Good. Next, we look like when is f of x equals to g of x. So f of x is down here, and g of x is right here. When they're equal, this is going to be same value. Okay, different value, different, 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 different. <gasps> right here, the same. So when x equals to four, these two are the same values. Okay. x equals to 4, um, this one 6 equals to 6, perfect, alright, so when is here, look, looks like um, a, sh uh, 
When is f of x? So f of x. When is f of x greater than g of x? So a of x needs to be larger than this. We don't actually, what number is this? Does anybody know? Well, so here, f is f of x larger than g of x? No. f of x larger than g of x? No. No. Yes, it's right here. So this is larger than this. So here that's, okay. So here this is when f of x is actually larger, okay. So it looks like it stops here. So it is when x equals to uh, what input values? It looks like 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. So let's see if we're right. when it's what? Negative 3 equals to 0. Negative 3 all the way to 0. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Negative 3 all the way to 0. The reason why I didn't include this is because this answer. So this doesn't count because you don't actually know the number. So all we know is this interval, f of x is greater than. That's why it's negative 3 including to 0 including. Ah, oh, this is shady. This is a really shady answer because this assumes it's continuous, right? Is this continuous? No, because look at all. Uh, this is weird. Does it say, yeah, two continuous functions? Okay, it says continuous right here. So, yeah, that, that works. It has to be an interval notation, okay, because it says continuous, right? Um, oh, I'm going to talk about this in class tomorrow. Let's see if some of you are going to give me discrete answers. Uh, that would be cool. All right, what is the input when the g of x is actually larger? So uh, this is when this is larger, and this is when g of x is larger. So that looks like it's 1, 2, 3, and 4. So it should be, yep, 1 through 3. Oh, does not include 4. Okay, remember, it doesn't include 4 because they're equal. So it looks like it's only from, what, this interval, right? Good. There you go. That is part nine. Let's go to part 10, which is the end of this page. All right, let's take a look. Uh, the companies track the online bid for a purse and uh, increase $5 for each bid, and the initial bid is $60. What is the domain of the function? So we want to look at some properties. So please, again, it says the domain. The domain is right here, the bid number, okay? And these look like it's all finite, too. This is discrete. So the domain would be probably what? One, two, three, four, and it's all discrete. So all positive numbers, are these all positive numbers? No, because is there a five? That's wrong. Positive integers from 60 to 75? No, that, that would be the Y. That would be the range. Positive numbers from 1 to 4? I believe that. Positive number from 0 to 80? No, that would, also, that would be the range or the values of the Y axis. Okay, let's see if we are right. Yep, we are correct. Um, there you go. Those are all your solutions uh, for part 3. Or the third page, no, sorry, uh, for what? I think page uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This should be for page five and six, okay? Third video for five and, page five and six.